Hey, welcome back. So in our last video, we put together this really basic integration procedure and we tested to see that it worked. And what I'm going to do now is add it to my Omni script. And I realize that we haven't finished this yet, but I want to get it onto that form first before we forget to do so. So just coming back here to our create contacts Omni script. And Omni Studio can be really slow at times, so I did have to speed up the video there to get this working. In fact, I also had to refresh, so um, you may have to do the same on your end. Okay, so we're back here in our Omni script, and um, what we're going to do now is just come into the build, and we're just going to search for our integration procedure, and just drag it in under here. Well, I'm actually going to get rid of the get contact one. We don't need this at this point, so I'm just going to delete that. And then we've got our integration procedure here under step one. So um, we'll just give that a name. And then where we've got our integration procedure, we'll just click in there. And then we've got a list of all of those integration procedures that we have already. So we'll just go ahead and select ours. And then underneath, um, I'll show you, we don't have to necessarily for this one, but where we've got remote properties, we can click onto that. Um, and we have extra payload over there. So this is where you can define some key and some values as well. So if we come back in here and have a look, um, we've actually got our input there, F first name, which is coming from the form over there. But what we could do as well is send it from the actual integration procedure. So um, over there, we could define some different things. So perhaps the key, um, you know, a first name or whatever, we can then set it to, um, you know, the actual step and the value in there. But uh, we're not going to do that today because we've already got it all set up the way that we want to. Um, so that's probably about it for there. So if I click on preview now, we'll go ahead and put in a first name and last name and email. And then click on submit. Oops, and I've just realized I haven't activated it. So that's pretty good. It lets you know. So let's just um, go back and design. Clicky come back in here and we'll activate that. Okay, and let's try again. Okay, so we're not having anything returning to the screen just yet. We can do that in a later stage. Um, if we click on Action Debugger, we can see that we've had our integration procedure run. And up before, it um, failed there, but that was to do with the other preview that we we're doing. So we can click on there and then open up the response. Um, and we can see that we've got our, our contact that has been created. So there's the new ID there. And if we'd like, we can actually click on request data and we can see exactly what was sent through as well. So that's working as expected. In the next video, we'll add in the get contacts uh, data raptor as well and see how we can put it all together.